This was my first reaction to seeing the PC performance for the Callisto Protocol. This might be one of the worst PC ports I have seen in a seriously long time. They should honestly change the name of this game to the Stutter Protocol, which is available now as of December 2nd, 2022. It's available on the uh, next-gen consoles and PC. I'm not sure if it's on the last-gen consoles or not, but it, it is out now, and it is on PC, and it is a bit of a train wreck. The reviews on Steam are horrendous, and it's not because it's a bad game. It's made by the same people that worked on the original Dead Space games, which are some of, if not my favorite games of all time. I've talked about this game a lot over the last year or two. It's something I've been highly anticipating, and Striking Distance Studios completely shit the bed on the PC port for this game. Let's get into it. But first, today's video is brought to you by SuperCDK.com, where you could save money on games for all of your favorite platforms, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro licenses for just $22, and then you can unlock the prestigious Dark Mode for Windows 10, which I honestly could not live without. It is blinding without the dark mode you guys needed in your life. And now you can also save an additional 25% off at checkout by clicking buy now on any software products over there. Just go ahead and add it into your cart and put in my code JP25 at checkout and apply and that'll bring our price from $22.44 all the way down to $16.83, a savings of over $5. And I'll walk you through how to get your key and install it on Windows 10, go ahead and click Submit Order and complete your checkout from there. For me, that's gonna be with PayPal, and then click on Pay Now. After completing the checkout, it'll bring you to your purchased order page and it will update in a matter of seconds, or just go ahead and hit F5. Go ahead and do that one time. It came through literally immediately. I got the payment email that it had gone through and the delivery of the product exactly at the same time. Once you're done with that, go ahead and click on view keys and codes and we'll get our code right here that we can go ahead and copy and paste in on Windows 10 by hitting the start button and type in the word activate. When you see that activation settings or see if Windows is activated, go ahead and click on that and it'll bring up this right here and click on change your product key or unlock Windows 10 as I already have Windows 10. I obviously don't need to put in a new key, but just paste it in and then go ahead and click next and you are all done and set. For more information on supercdk.com as well as the coupon code, be sure to check out the links down in the description below. Honestly, there is not enough time left in my life to go into great detail about every single thing that is wrong with the Callisto Protocol and everything about the PC port of this game that just drives me insane. Absolutely insane. Some of the decisions made and the overall poor performance of this game with terrible stuttering and frame times that are just all over the place. Just, just honestly, some of the worst performance I have ever seen in a PC game. I don't know who did this PC port. It feels like it was made by a fucking Switch developer. That's how bad the PC port is for the Callisto Protocol. Constant stuttering. Doesn't matter where you are in the game, narrow hallway, big open space, in combat, not in combat, going in and out of cutscenes, you're gonna see massive stutters. The game in DirectX 12 is the worst iteration of it, especially if you choose to use ray tracing. Now you can switch over to DirectX 11, but it's not perfect there either. The stutters are still quite prevalent, not as bad as DirectX 12, but still very prevalent. And you can't use ray tracing if you choose to play in DirectX 11, which could you know maybe not be the end of the world if the game ran smooth as silk. I could then be like, okay, well, maybe they'll fix the DX12 and add in some shader compilation. But no, even the DirectX 11 has a lot of performance issues and stutters all over the fucking place. Okay, so I usually like to start these videos by going into the graphics options menu. So we're going to jump in there now. Um, even the graphics options menu, I mean, annoys me uh, quite a bit. I mean, And also another thing I noticed, a little bit nitpicky, okay? But when you click exit on the main menu, it just closes the game. It doesn't like ask you like, are you sure you want to close the game? You know, which is fine. I'm not giving them shit over that. I just found it funny because the developers obviously knew people were going to be clicking on exit from this broken piece of shit game that they didn't even bother asking if people are sure they want to close the game because they knew. Like they knew people are going to be, if, they, if someone clicks exit on this game, they fucking mean it. It's a hard exit, okay? It's an alt F4 type situation. 
Alt fucking F4. This fucking abortion of a video game. Jesus Christ, the performance is so bad. The graphics options menu, another thing that just really just irks me. Like, why is every single section of the graphics options under a different sub-menu? Like, why isn't there just general or, like, display and advanced? Like, no, lighting needs its own section that is not just on the same screen. It's all just its own screen. Like, I, I think it's because they couldn't be bothered building it, building in a scroll function. Sorry, excuse me. Getting a hiccup there. A scroll function to scroll up and down through the menu, so they needed everything to fit on one screen. Just... Uh, really weird decisions all over the place. Again, that's a little nitpicky, but let's go into the options menu. Right now I'm on DX11 because that's what I last played on, but I tried DX12, DX11 with and without ray tracing. So there you go. That's what we got in there. Let's go into the next graphics options menu where you can see I'm playing at 4K. We do have a render scale slider, which is nice to see, and it does support HDR, but I'm not using that because it messes with recordings. Uh, lighting, the next sub-menu. We've got the lighting quality of standard, which that's it. Like, it doesn't go higher than that. It just goes from standard to low. Like, okay. Shadow quality, this is all the highest that these go. We've got shadow quality, volumetrics quality, and particle quality. They all just go to high. There's no ultra options, just low, medium, or high. We've also got screen space reflections, which you can toggle on or off. And then we've got physical physical refractions, uh, which you can enable if you want to. And there's also direct, there is uh, also um, ray tracing options in here as well uh, for reflections and shadows and stuff, which I can't see right now because I'm in DirectX 11, bad oversight by me. Jumping into the effects menu, we've got depth of field, motion blur, which I disabled because motion blur is terrible, subsurface scattering, anti-aliasing, and film grain, which I also disabled because it is equally as terrible as motion blur. If there's one thing I like doing with my games, it's making them look worse on purpose. So of course I would run those options, right? So for anti-aliasing, I'm on the temporal AA option, but we've also got FXAA, or you can disable it altogether. Under the advanced options, we have we do have upscaling here, which I'll get to in a moment. We've also got mesh quality, texture quality, and texture filtering quality. But again, these are all just the highest that they go. For upscaling, you can either run a temporal upscaler or you can use AMD FSR 2. And then of course, they've got all of the typical settings in there for FSR. No DLSS support at all. It's an AMD sponsored title. They've got the big splash screen on the main menu or when the game loads up, but it sure as hell doesn't mean that they did anything to help them optimize this bag of crap for the PC. I don't know, maybe they should have went with NVIDIA as a partner on this one and put DLSS in there, which is obviously the better choice and the better solution than FSR, I think we can all agree on. So that's your options menu, but honestly, none of it really even matters because it doesn't matter what you do in there. It all comes down to the fact that this game is still the stutter protocol. The stuttering is unavoidable and everyone is going to experience it uh let me see on the store page right now on steam the game is sitting at a mostly negative with only 29 percent of gamers giving this a positive review over on steam if that doesn't tell you everything that you need to know about the stutter protocol then i don't know what will it is a hard pass for me on the callisto protocol the pc port is not up to snuff and from what I've heard on consoles, it also has some issues as well, even though I recently saw articles about how Sony brought in like dozens of people to go help um, Striking Distance finish this game and polish it up for launch, which I don't know what they did because even when it was, uh, when they brought in people from Sony to help optimize this game, you think, okay, well for sure, it's going to run good on the PS5 then, right? Well, I happened to look at a review over on PushSquare.com, which focuses primarily, if not exclusively, only on games on the PlayStation. They reviewed the game and tested it in its performance mode, and they said, I, and I quote, We encountered such abysmal frame rate drops of less than 10 FPS that we were able to crash the game on command. That means it's a feature, folks. If you could do it on command, it's a feature. It's not an accident. They didn't fuck up. That's a feature, folks. An absolute feature, 110 non non uh, what what's that word St non sarcastically 100 110% a feature so there you go that is the callisto sorry the stutter protocol in a nutshell folks one of the most disappointing pc ports of all time as i said at the start huge dead space fan love the first two dead space games dead space 3 can go suck 10 dicks 
But the first two games, which were worked on by a lot of the people that made the Callisto Protocol, I mean, this game is literally the next Dead Space. And they just ha they couldn't call it Dead Space because EA owns Dead Space now. So it's the Callisto Protocol, but it's basically fucking Dead Space with stutters. So I sincerely hope that this is something that they can polish and fix post-launch. I'm not like super confident about it, but I was on the latest game ready driver and stuff for my RTX 4080, which should not have an issue running this game, even at 4K, you know, without ray tracing, uh, you know, I would expect, you know, with ray tracing and everything as gorgeous as this game looks, because it does look gorgeous, I would expect it to need uh, some DLSS or something or FSR, but the game just, it's just, it just stutters so bad. I couldn't care if the, if the frame rate was 100, it wouldn't matter because it still stutters all over the place. And there were certain sequences that I went through where I would see my GPU was at like 50% usage, but my CPU was only being used 22%. So it wasn't like a CPU bottleneck limitation of my 9900K or anything, which I'm replacing in the next week, actually. Just got my 7950X in the mail. Oh yeah. Can't wait to fucking set that bad boy up. Build video coming very soon. Or uh, maybe I'll retest the Callisto protocol, stutter protocol and uh, we'll see if the CPU was an issue, but I sincerely doubt it. The game is just optimized to crap. Nothing positive to say about this game. Oh, that's not true. The visuals, really, really good. All, like, I mean, there were times where it was just like, wow, this looks like real life or something. But one of the worst ports ever. It's it's worse than Quantum Break. It, it's, it's saying something. It's saying a lot. Quantum Break is still quantum broken, honestly. <laughs> But yeah, this this game does fuck up on a on a quantum level. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. You guys all have a fantastic weekend. Don't spend it playing the Callisto Protocol. Like, don't do that to yourself. I spent the money so you don't have to. Avoid it until they fix it and you hear otherwise from someone, either in the reviews on Steam or from a reviewer like myself. Wow. I just have to forget this game exists now. I was really looking forward to this, but I just have to put it out of my mind. Otherwise, I will go out of my mind thinking about how bad the PC port is for the Callisto protocol, the stutter protocol. So you guys will have a fantastic day. I'll catch you next time for another video. Peace.